Hi guys and welcome back on this new video. Today I'm gonna show you how to use your 3D printer more easily and wherever you want in the world. Yes, sure, this video is brought to you by Banggood. Banggood is a simple website where you can order parts from China. They supply me a Raspberry Pi and I'm gonna show you right now how to install it on your 3D printer and how to install Octoprint on it. Octoprint is a simple way to use your 3D printer with your smartphone or with your computer. So let's get started. The smallest computer I ever had, so there we go. So yep, as I said, Raspberry Pi 3. I really recommend you the Raspberry Pi 3 because the it's the most powerful uh, Raspberry Pi on the market now. So yep, let's open it. Uh, it has been shipped to me really quickly and I'm really happy with it. It's tiny like legit tiny there we go so as i said this is the smallest computer i ever had as you can see that's my main computer here compared with the phone and it's even smaller and it's a computer so yes that's really impressive so the raspberry pi is, um, is coming with ethernet connector and four usb along with a HDMI port with micro USB ports here and a micro SD card reader to install Octoprint on it. So there you go. In order to mount it to your 3D printer, we're gonna use a quick uh, way to install it on my frame, for example. So I'm gonna use a 20 by 40 profile uh, on my AM8, which has been built uh, with Ratrig and SOVB 3D. I uh, recommend you to check the video of the build of this printer and I print this little cage here um, which uh, allows the Raspberry Pi to go inside. I put you the link of uh, this little cage in the video description. Uh, you can download it and print it as I did. And as you can see it's really great things like it's a really great cage and you can put your Raspberry Pi on it and it's not really noticeable on your 3D printer. So there you go. So let's continue with the computer for showing you how to install Octoprint on it because we're gonna use this Raspberry Pi for Octoprint on my 3D printer. So let's get started. In order to add storage on your Raspberry Pi, you're gonna need at least a 4GB SD card. I'm personally gonna use a 8GB one. If you want to use your Pi wirelessly, I personally recommend you this little Wi-Fi USB thing which is really cheap. You can also use an Ethernet cable to box your Pi 5 into the Pi. The last thing I'm gonna use is this little cooling kit which is also really cheap. You'll find the link in the video description. In order to connect the fan and if you want to add more parts to your Pi you're gonna give a closer look to all those pins. For the fan, we're gonna use the pin 4 and 6, which the number 4 gives you 5 volt and the number 6 is the ground. I'm also using two of those heatsink which are provided in the kit. In order to mount the Pi, you'll need 4 M3 screws, which are provided into the cooling kit. I recommend you to use a webcam or a camera, which you'll connect to your Raspberry Pi in order to monitor your print. A simple webcam is really enough for this purpose. The first step is to use your SD card reader, which are normally provided with your 3D printer, and connect it into your main computer. Next, you're gonna download those two files in order to first, with Win32 Disk Imager, install Octoprint on your SD card. And to run correctly Octoprint on your Raspberry Pi, you're gonna then open Win32 Disk Imager and choose the right SD card and open the image from your Octoprint download. Once it's all done, if you want to run your Raspberry Pi wirelessly without an Ethernet cable plugged in, you're gonna open the file Pi Network and search for the line Wi-Fi configuration. Then you're gonna enter your password and your network name and uncommon the line and save the file. You now gonna need your Raspberry Pi IP address to connect your Raspberry Pi to your computer in order to control the 3D printer. In order to do so, I'm gonna use personally the app name Thing, which you're gonna open with your smartphone. 
Once you get to the IP address, you're gonna enter it into your browser in order to control the Raspberry Pi via Octoprint. You then gonna configure Octoprint and connect your printer. The steps are really easy and it's all explained on the main page. But you can add a few plugins by clicking on the wrench, up right and go into left, go into plugin manager. Then you can add whatever you want. I personally add a few ones which are really useful. I list all of them in the video description. As I said in the beginning of this video, you can control your 3D printer via your smartphone. You're gonna need a few apps which are named Printoid and Octo Android. You can find them in the Google Play. I personally use Octo Android, which is really easy to use and it connects directly via your smartphone. And there you go, you are now ready to run Octoprint on your 3D printer. I hope you enjoyed this video and if so, I recommend you to leave a like and comment if you have any issue and subscribe if you like the video. And I want to specially thanks Banggood because without them it would not have been possibly there is a moustique going in my And I would like to thanks especially Banggood for sponsoring this video by providing me the little Raspberry Pi Without them, it would not have been possible. So thank you so much. You can find all the link in the video description. I hope you enjoy and I will see you next time.